Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm talking about my newborn essentials and Heidi is now almost 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 three months old she turns three months on Thursday which is crazy this time has gone so quickly but when I got pregnant and when I was coming to end of my pregnancy I really really did my research on other people's newborn essentials to figure out what I really need and things worth getting in advance and things that I should hold off getting and things like that and there's a lot of people that have done these videos and also have done regret videos so let me know if you'd like me to film one of those I haven't got too many regrets because I've done a lot of research but I do have a few so do let me know down below if you'd like to see that but because this is going to be mentioning quite a few things I'm going to dive straight into it. So I'm going to do cutaways of all of the items to show you exactly what they're like and just to make sure that I can show you like them properly if you know what I mean instead of having them all in front of me now but the first product I want to talk about are the bottles that we're using and we have gone through our fair share of bottles we first of all bought the Tommy Tippy closer to nature ones we then bought the MAM bottles and then now we're using the Dr Brown's bottles and for me they have definitely been an essential the reason for that is because they have really advanced anti-colic like kind of technology in it where it has like a tube and things like that so it prevents the baby getting colic and reflux which is definitely something that Heidi suffered with at the beginning she had a bit of reflux it wasn't too bad thankfully but we moved over to these one as a major preventative and also to prevent her like throwing up too much and we saw a noticeable difference when we moved to these bottles um, Rich's sister actually gave us these because she used these with her first son which was amazing because I don't know if we would have thought to have bought them but I remember seeing these bottles in so many people's must-have videos so I'm just throwing it out there as well they have been a godsend to us and I would say hold off buying any bottles until like just get maybe one or two just to see what your newborn likes if you're going to bottle feed them or you're going to express like I do but for us we kind of wasted a bit of money on those other bottles but the Dr. Brown's ones for us have been absolute essential and we've continued using them and because they are a bigger size, they're going to carry on being perfect for her as she gets older too. So I touched on the fact that Heidi had a slight bit of reflux and from about two weeks onwards, I want to say, we used Infocult before we fed her and we saw a noticeable difference when we used that when we were trialing and airing all different kind of bottles which is to be expected when you're a first time mum you find out what your baby likes but Infocol really really helped her reflux um, any colic that she had and it prevented her basically being sick too much which is really essential because you don't want them to lose weight as much as possible you want them to keep gaining weight and in that way they stay healthy now the next product that has been an absolute essential for us has been our sterilizer now we've not used any other brand but the brand that we have been using we've really really enjoyed and we found it just being absolutely fantastic for all the different bottles that we've kind of gone through and it's the tommy tippy sterilizer and so this is perfect for us not only because obviously when we had the tommy tippy ones they fitted in there perfectly even with the dr brown's ones we just took off off the top shelf of the sterilizer and these bigger bottles fit in perfectly and they can be sterilized super quickly and yeah it's really really good we don't have the microwave one we have the one that sits on the counter and what I also love about it is the fact that you just use water with it you don't have to use like sterilizing fluid and things like that so it makes it so much easier and I think it like sterilizes and heats up for five minutes and then you let it cool for five minutes and in 10 minutes you've got perfectly like sterilized bottles and for me I put my breast pump stuff in there too it's just been amazing it was really affordable too now I mentioned this in our what's in our changing bag video and in that video I spoke about like changing bag essentials which I'll link above if you also want to watch that and I'll leave it down below too but the Lidl's range of wet wipes and nappies have been an absolute essential for us and I mentioned that video but I'll quickly mention it again here. We trialled loads of different nappies by loads of different brands and even wet wipes too. We got loads free in like in the diary packs and bounty packs and I bought water wipes to start off with and all things like that but actually when we moved 
because we kept moving and changing all different nappies and wet wipes, finding out what we preferred and what Heidi preferred. When we did that, she got such a bad nappy rash that we just reverted back to the little stuff because that's what we started off with in the hospital. And her nappy rash just went straight away. And for me, I just couldn't recommend them more. They're super affordable too. And yeah, I just think that they're perfect. We don't ever get any like, like wet leaks. We've had a couple of poo explosions, but that is to be expected because her poop explosions, when she poops and it explodes, it just, there's no saving it. Um, but we've had only a handful of actual like leaky nappies where she's pooped out of it. And that's just because of the volume of poop. Um, but other than that, like on a day-to-day -day basis, they are perfect, no leaks, nothing. And because she slept through the night consistently from about five weeks to obviously three months at the moment, She's going a long period of time without being changed because she settled and for that like eight to nine hour period there's never a leak ever at all either so for me i couldn't recommend them more like i said they're really affordable too which is even more of a bonus there's so many different nappies and stuff but i would just say check out the ones at your local supermarket because they're worth trying out, especially if they can save you some money. But yeah, they have been absolutely amazing for us. Now, I remember someone recommending to me to get loads and loads of muslin cloths, and I'd never really used them before. I never really understood how they could be so beneficial. Trust me, you are gonna wanna what, have loads and loads of muslin cloths because you get through loads quickly. And if your baby is anything like Heidi, she has a massive double chin. She is a chunky baby. And we find that like the newborn bibs or even just like smaller bibs that kind of fit her, they don't quite because of her chin and because of her neck is so big. So we've preferred moons and cloths because we've been able to tuck them under. They're obviously much bigger so that if she does have a bit of spit up, you're more protecting the clothes, which is better for us. And we have absolutely loved them, but we have absolutely loved the Primark muslin cloths the most. The reason for that is because they wash really, really well too. So every time we wash them, I find that they're getting softer and softer and we've washed them a lot, trust me, because like I said, she spits up quite a lot and the nature of those and bibs is that they just, they do get dirty and they're there to clean up mess. But yeah, absolutely loved them. And I love the Primark ones the most just because they are getting better with every wash. Sometimes, well, I thought actually that because they were quite cheap that they might just start to get a bit ragged, but they've been absolutely brilliant. And we've been using them nonstop for about three months and the quality is just getting better and better. So I definitely recommend that you stock up on muslin cloths. You just need loads. I think we have about, 20 to 30 in our collection and honestly i'd say that you'd need that many but i just love them like i said we use them instead of bibs at the moment while she's not so like big and rolling around we're able to actually sit her down when she's having milk and protect herself properly absolutely love them they are a godsend so i definitely recommend those now the next product is coconut oil and this is something that i have loved using on her I already had coconut oil, so I didn't buy it purposely like for her, but now if I run out, I will repurchase it because it's been an absolute godsend. So first of all, you can use it as a moisturizer and it's great for like skin's moisture, but the reason and the primary reason why we've used it is because it's great for cradle cap. And so that's when they get the really dry patches on their head. And for me, I just think it looks a little bit painful. So. What I'll do is every time I go to bath her, so say like every two days, for example, I will coat her head in coconut oil of the morning and then it gives it all day for her head to like basically just absorb it and take in all the benefits. And then I'll wash it off when she has a bath. Sometimes I'll also use a cradle cap shampoo, but I found that even without the cradle cap shampoo, this worked an absolute treat. It really did reduce it and it's almost healed up now as well, which is really good because I've been using that for probably the last month and I've seen a noticeable difference. It's make sure you obviously get an organic one and a natural one because you don't wanna put anything like nasty on their head. But I found that the 100% coconut oil has just been absolutely perfect for her and yeah it just works a real treat and i'd recommend again that you get some and if you don't use it for cradle cap you can use it as a like a natural moisturizer and things like that so it's been absolutely amazing now the next product that has been a savior for me now i know this isn't necessarily like an absolute essential but it has been for me because i'm rubbish at like guessing the temperature of things 
and that is the Tommy Tippy bath thermometer and it's also a room thermometer too so what I really love about this is that it's perfect to see like the temperature of a room and you're able to quickly see whether your baby has got enough layers on or if they need more or you need to like take off a layer and things like that it's brilliant and especially the first couple of weeks I was a first time mum that was a great gadget to have because it just made it really really easy and took all the guesswork out but I also love it for the bath and that's probably the biggest biggest way that I use it. You need to have a newborn bath at 37 degrees, which I wouldn't know. I know you can do like an elbow trick or something, but I don't really understand how that works. And I would never forgive myself if the bath was like too hot or too cold and she's uncomfortable. I just think make your life easier, get one of these thermometers, make sure obviously you mix like the bath water around, that goes without saying. But it will tell you obviously when it's 37 degrees because it's got a digital display on it and if for any reason it does go over I think it's 39 degrees onwards it does start flashing with a little red light so you can really easily see if you've gone like too hot with it and yeah I've absolutely loved using that and I would definitely say it's been an essential for me because it just makes everything so much easier and especially if I'm in a bit of a rush I don't need to like faff around and yeah I absolutely love that. Now the last thing that I would recommend more than anything is a good moisturiser. Like I said you can use coconut oil if you like but Heidi had really really dry skin especially on like her cheeks as well as like she'll get dry areas on her legs and her arms and she has me to thank for that because I get really bad like dry skin sometimes on my body so the best thing that we found that works for her and it's just cleared up any dryness that she has is the Child's Farm Moisturiser. We got loads of little samples in Emma Diaries packs I think and I don't know why we got so many we had like loads of little sample ones and I think we're on our like fourth little bottle but that stuff is amazing it helps to moisturize any dryness like from the get-go and it also smells amazing so I've loved using that on Heidi because I know that her skin's getting moisturized and it's not like uncomfortable for her but the first times we started to bath her I'd always make sure that I moisturized her from head to toe and oh, it just smells so good and every time I smell it it reminds me of when she was first bathed and it's almost like in keeping with that newborn smell even though she's not a newborn anymore but I love the smell of that and I'd recommend that you check out their ranges because it's great because it's good for sensitive skin it's like organic or natural and yeah it's a really really good brand and I'm definitely going to try out more of their products especially as she gets older and we get like more bath products into her routine that's definitely going to be the brand that I check out first. So I hope this video has been helpful for anyone that's either pregnant and expecting a baby, if so congratulations, or if you've just had a baby and thinking what do we need to get? I loved watching these videos and I hope that you've enjoyed watching mine and I hope that it's been helpful too so give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and let me know down below what your newborn essentials have been too to just share the love with anyone else and just to get a bit of a comment section going on making sure that everyone that's expecting a baby has everything that they might need but that's all for me in today's video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!